Hi Dabblers, it's Floz. Today I'm showing you a very different stitching video. Since I was forced to have time off at home before my surgery to quarantine and afterwards for recovery, I decided to try out the vlog style. It's a way to test the water to see whether you guys will enjoy such a format and if I can handle making it. This way you get to see more snippets of our house, my quirks, our life, my recovery process and my stitching. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below to let me know whether you like this style and interact with me. Before we get into it, just a friendly reminder that this channel belongs to both my husband JP and myself. JP does more geeky contents with painting miniatures or battle reports, and I do my stitching videos. Together we also show you what we like to do to have fun or just hang out with you by doing a hobby with us video. If you'd like to show your support, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel. Hi guys, it's Flots here. Today is 2nd of March. Um, I did my COVID test for pre-admission um, for my surgery. So um from today to friday the 4th of march i would have to stay at home quarantine until my surgery even though um, well hopefully my results should be negative um and because work was missing so many people so i offered to work from home today um and i i rarely work from home i've only done it once before um, normally we don't really do data entry stuff, but since I'm working from home, this is the mayhem just to do data entry. This is my own computer and then I had to borrow JP's. Um, and then JP's computer is connected to a bigger screen so I can see what I'm entering. Um, well, I'm doing that because my computer is like a pad like what's it called surface pro so it doesn't like it doesn't have the port to support another screen connecting to it so i had to use another bigger computer um and if you can hear it's like a noisy background it's because i was just having my break and jp was kind enough to put put it some pizza in the oven and we just had that and now the oven is trying to cool down. So I literally took JP's spot. So this is normally his desk. And he ended up being there. Hello. So yeah, you can see our house is very messy. Um, obviously, we didn't tidy it up just for this, this clip. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have the rest of my break. I've got a few minutes still. And go back to working. Oh, before I do that. So that's the that's the photo we took oh so many years ago now, back in China. Um, in winter. And in my hometown. When we were still young. I think we would have been oh, I would have been like at least six years ago or something yeah so maybe i'll see you guys again later tonight when i get to stitch a little bit i still have quite a few hours of work to do hello dabblers it's floods again and um, right now it's about 9 30 p.m still on the 2nd of march um, I'm finally done with work. I ended up doing the full sh eight hour shift from 1 to 9 p.m. I wanted to do as much as I could to alleviate the pressure of other people that had to work without me. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting to do the full shift, but you know. Um, this one is one of the whips I got. It's the napping kitten. Um, I'm gonna stitch this one tonight and hang out with JP. And before I start stitching it, I just want to show you the, the chaos that is our coffee table. 
So this is where we normally um, chill together at the end of the day. Um, well, mostly on a working day. Um, let's say from 11 to 12. So obviously this section is for my stitching and that section is for JP's painting. And that light is not supposed to be there, but there you are. Um, our house is pretty messy most of the time. We tend to clean up a little bit on the weekend. Um, which is what I might do tomorrow. Because after my surgery, I don't foresee myself being very mobile for a few days. So I better clean up a little bit before my surgery. Um, this little thing is actually my makeshift, I don't know, embellishment tray from like the packaging of a, I think it's a fabric cutter. So as you can see, this is a roller blade bit. Um, these are the different colors of sequences. And there's some bees here. And that's the, that's the thread. And that's the rest of the, the bees. And yes, I have my slippers. I wear slippers at home. Um, and I just put a bunch of random needles on this, what is it, elastic silicon thing. So yeah, um, well, let's bring you back to this. And yeah, so this is the close up of the pattern. As you can see, the stitching is not the neatest, but I do try. And yeah, I have been working on the, the half stitches. And yeah, the coverage is pretty good. Oh, let me zoom in a little bit. So that's mostly three strands, half stitches. So yeah, quite nice. I am enjoying it. And I've been working on this for a few days after my stitching update video. So yeah, and now JP and I will be um, chilling out together Possibly watching mm, Inventing Anna on Netflix. And I'll be stitching this one. And before I go to bed, I'll probably show you how much I did. Maybe it's only a little bit. Mm -hmm. Floss reporting here. It is 12.20. 12.20. And... We need to go to bed. And this is how much I've done. I've almost finished the face. You would think I have, but I did not. There is one more stitch here. But yeah, almost done with the face. And I did more of these boring tree branch. And I think a little bit. Yeah, that color, a bit there. You yeah, know, just filled in some. So yeah, it's coming along. But yeah, gotta go to bed. Um, JP went for a run in the meantime, and turns out he's got an early appointment to see a podiatrist. So I gotta go. And tomorrow I will possibly continue working on this. I mean, I normally work on things in chunks. Like, I, I would want to consecutively work on something so I see progress and then I'll move on. And that's how I work. So, yeah. Oh, and also, we finished inventing Anna. It was really good. Um, We really like the lead actress. She's amazing. She is an amazing actress. And I'm looking forward to seeing more of her in other series. Good night. Morning guys, it's 10.30 and we just got up not long ago. JP is cooking me breakfast. Um, so today will be a big 
chilling out, but also mm, not not big on stitching, I don't think. Um, also a cleaning day. I have more washing to do, put away, clean clothes. I need to clean up the bedroom and bathroom, wipe some surfaces, change beddings and all that. And I will stitch a little bit here and there and hopefully we get to play some games as well and I'll be waiting for the hospital to call me and discuss what's going to happen tomorrow so yeah while I'm waiting for JP to cook me breakfast hehe <laughs> maybe I'll stitch a little bit on this one the napping kitten ha <laughs> ha 15 minutes of stitching stitch this and it's time to eat. Yay, food. Oh, that's stinky. <laughs> mm -hmm. We've got fried rice with Chinese sausage and egg and peas. Oh, and a bit of carrots. Milk. Egg tarts that we just put in the oven from um, frozen. And the stinky, stinky homemade pickles. Bon appétit! Uh huh. Wah! One round. Okay. Yay, finally cleaning washing machines. Apparently you're supposed to do this regularly. I heard like once a month, but huh, we might do this one every six months. And I've got technically three washing machines. The person that renovated my laundry thought I was crazy and he was joking about it. But I've got this washing machine that's quite old. It's normally used for socks, um, like the bathroom mats and dog stuff. And this big one is for other clothes, towels, beddings. And this small one is for more intimate stuff like undies or workout clothes. And so far this system has been working really well. I know, I know some people think I'm crazy, but I don't care. I like it. Good afternoon. Same day as before. And I've stitched for about two and a half hours and this is my progress. I've mainly focused on here sort of bit here maybe a little bit here and there and then a little bit there and the kitten face is completely done and there's no gap here I still have to do some half stitches and then I can start back stitching the kitten's face and that'll be interesting we have, well, I have cleaned up the master bedroom ensuite, did some bedding, swept, uh, wiped, what else did I do? And I think JP cleaned up the kitchen a little bit, did some dishes, and now I've got to just remove some cleaning utensils from upstairs, and I also need to put away washing. Sorry, put the clean clothes away. So let's do that then. Dinner time. JP cooked for me. JP said he's gonna look after me starting this week. So we got the oven baked phyllo. The stuffing came out. Rice. Um, iceberg lettuce. And asparagus. Very healthy. I'm still waiting for the hospital to call me, but they still haven't called, so most likely I'll have to try to call them. And 
by midnight, I have to do nil by mouth. So start fasting. It's 7.40. JP has gone to do his normal martial arts training every Thursday. So wushu, wushu training. And I want to stitch a little bit more on this snapping kitten. Um, I didn't end up getting called by the hospital anyways. And we called the hospital at 6, 6 p.m. Um, just a normal receptionist pick, picked up the phone and we were like, oh, we didn't get the phone call that was scheduled from my, um, for my surgery. And they said, oh, but on this list, I, uh, like on, on this list, they circled my name as if I was called. Certainly I was not impressed. And on my admission letter that I was given, I was supposed to go in at 7.30. So that was the written admission time. But actually, I was supposed to go in at 6.30. So lucky we did call. Oh, jeez. You always rely on hospitals to do their job. But, oh, jeez, this, this whole thing was like, literally, they need you to chase after everything. I'm really not impressed. Anyways, I'm gonna stitch to let off some steam stitch my kitten it's about 9 50 now jp yeah 9 50 i stitched one hour and 45 minutes so a bit more than one and a half and then jp came back and we just had a shower i think that's enough stitching for me today um i did more half stitches here i think it did some greens as well so now i think i should possibly play some game now rather than stitch because if i'm somehow bedridden at least i can stitch but i can't play game so i think that's a good plan so we'll play some game and i will probably have to go to bed early because, you know, admission time, 6.30, and uh, halfway through the night, like 3.30 or something, I have two tablets to take um, four hours before my surgery. So fun stuff. Good night. Uh, 4th of March Sorry, I'm still feeling groggy Not enough sleep I probably slept Less than 4 hours um, it, it is surgery day And JP is driving me to the, to the hospital I've got A dress on If you can see it all It's a black dress I thought it will be easier to get into an hour uh, and in the middle of the night I did wake up and sublingually took two tablets and it was hell because no water mouth dry they weren't dissolving all the good stuff and it took an hour for them to kind of dissolve and I eventually washed my mouth out oh yeah fun wish me luck after I got ad admitted, I ended up being taken to a single room to get changed. Um, everything off and put on the scrub. And um, they also gave me a pair of compression stockings. Um, I ended up uh, waiting in the room for about an hour. I didn't take any stitching with me just in case it was getting complicated while waiting. But I probably should have. Hello. I can't wave. I'm holding the phone. <laughs> it's a forty-five on Friday. I finished my surgery. Maybe by ten o'clock. I'm not sure, but I woke up in the hospital eleven twenty because I asked the nurse specifically what time it was, and then it took another more than two hours for me to be able to be 
transported. And CJP. Mm -hmm. Picked her up at the front, took her home, carefully took her upstairs like an old lady, mm. and got her into bed, and then she mostly, you mostly just slept, really. No, I was talking to you. Did a bit of chatting, but you slept. I did. And then finally had some food. A bit of... Yeah, uh, I had a bit of... Uh, rice porridge. Uh, Joel. Or congee. Lots of names for it. It's better than it sounds. If you're not familiar with it. And I went and bought some Chinese takeaway stuff. Not the best. But it's got fresh vegetables and Farina even managed to eat some of those. Uh, I was hungry, but there's a lot of gas in, in, in my abdomen area. Yeah, if you're not familiar with laparoscopy, which is the keyhole surgery, and I wasn't really familiar with it either, is uh, in order to do it with enough room in the abdomen, they have to inject some gas to prop up the belly a bit, so that there's a bit of room in there. And so, unfortunately, the gas still kind of stays in there. They don't just squeeze it out of you at the end. <clears throat> so we've just got to get rid of that slowly. So a few days later following days i'll have to walk around and try to fight a lot mm, lots of fighting so like, it's like fighting. business as usual <laughs> in this house <laughs> uh. and i thought i got three incisions and turns out there's one underneath my belly that i couldn't see so i had four no surprise <sighs> jeez oh well we'll get them healed up and hopefully can leave the bed tomorrow, we'll see. Huh. But I think this is where you will stay. At least for today. At no least for stitching today. for sure. No stitching. Although, when I was waiting in my room, I think I could have stitched. She really wanted to stitch in the hospital. <laughs> I had a little bit of time, but... Yeah, I didn't end up taking any stitching with me. I just thought all the threads and whatever. It's a lot of stuff hanging about. Um, what if it goes wrong? Yeah. And if they say it's school time, I can't be like, oh, wait a second. <laughs> Let, me Let me finish this thread. <laughs> oh, well. The specialist will not be very impressed. Well, the specialist was doing something else. It was, I think, the nurses that transported me around, pushing me around the bed, which was quite fun. <laughs> it was like an obstacles. Around the corridors? Mm. Yeah. Into different doors. Yeah, you're the queen. They oh. escort you everywhere. Mm. Oh well, this is a post-op vlog one. It's pretty boring though, it's just us, our face. There's nothing yeah, I haven't even shaven. <laughs> Gotta shave. Alright. Bye. Morning, this is Saturday, 5th of March. I want to say Feb, I don't know why. Um, It's my breakfast. JP made me fresh congee. Just the boring type, I think, with some millet and rice. And there's a bit of pickles. I'm from the northern China, so we like to eat pickles with our congee. And then I also told him to fry me some eggs. Because today my plan is to at least go for a walk, so I feel like I need more protein. Still feeling very weak. And since he got out to get me pickles... He went to get coffee and the cafe we normally go to was trying out a new cheesecake. I think it's the bisque, the burnt cheesecake. So we got two samples. So hopefully I get to eat it maybe later. So yeah, eating time. Oh, there's a bit of a chip on the ball. Ha ha ha. It is in the afternoon two something. 1.40. Oh, whoops. Not even two. Okay, 1.40. Um... I realized, well, at least I came downstairs. I came downstairs to have my breakfast, as you probably saw before in the previous clip. Um, I didn't think I had enough energy to stitch, so I've just been organizing my floss for the um, spring will come that I will probably start this year at some point. Um, I did, I think, more than half of those new skeins. Um, yeah, I, I think I get tired really easily. 
Uh, I did a few skeins and then I started feeling tired already. But I kept going and finished a, a bit more. <clears throat> and I've got <clears throat> phlegm. But I can't use my abdominal muscle to clear it. So it's very annoying. Yeah, I've just got the mess here. <clears throat> I also can't talk very loud because that sort of uses the abdominal muscle too. Um, before my surgery, I actually got out the wedding sampler, but I don't think I'll be able to touch it today. So it's just sitting there waiting for me to be, to, to, to work on it. So yeah, um, hopefully I get to finish sorting all these threads out today but for now I think I better chill and maybe have a nap later um it was raining on and off but I still want to go out and go for a small walk and apparently that's supposed to help with the gas situation so yeah then that time after a nap hey <laughs> hey JP's first made, first time made chicken soup. And a little bread. I'm supposed to make some, I mean, steam some mantel, but, I mean, steam bread. But, um, yeah, I came down just unexpectedly, so, hey, <laughs> hey. What's the time? Nine something? Nine thirty. Oh. It's nine thirty, Saturday, 5th of March. I said I'd finish sorting all the threads for Spring Will Come by Odyssey so I can start it later, straight away. And I did. I wanted to use the um, Annie's Keepers, I think there's a uh, project slides, but I forgot that there were only three and each one technically only contained 15. I squeezed in 16 for some of them, but there were, the pattern calls for 72 colors, so I ended up using a, like, normal slide with the hook and a little ring in there. So yeah, that's everything done. And I'll just got to put it away and I can start it when I finish something, maybe in a few months. And it's really tiring me out. So I might just watch a little bit of TV and go upstairs to sleep. Uh, I really don't have much energy. So yeah, um, no stitching tonight either. Hopefully I get to edit the video a little bit because I have been accumulating the vlog content. Hopefully I get to edit it tomorrow. And maybe do some stitching. So yeah. The gas situation is slightly better. But I feel like I can feel more pain. Around the incision area. I'm not sure. But we'll talk tomorrow. Good night. Good afternoon. It's 3. 3.20. On Sunday. What is it? 6th of March now. Uh, turns out this is the first vlog of the day it's because I don't know when I got up no well start from the beginning I didn't sleep very well last night so when I eventually got up I felt really tired so after I had my breakfast around 10 o'clock I ended up going back to sleep yeah after walking around for a little bit more Today the gas situation's not as bad, but there's more bleeding. Not from the wound, but um, vaginally. And what else? Yeah, and the incisions are more painful. So yeah, I feel a bit better after I had a nap. But now I feel like I need more fiber. So JP was kind enough to cut me some fruits. And now I'm going to eat some. And later on, hopefully, I can do a bit more. I don't know. I want to stitch today. But we'll see. Morning.
it's barely morning anymore it's almost 12 p.m on monday what is it now seventh yeah four five six seventh seventh of march um i had a really shitty sleep last night again just couldn't get comfy with i don't know either my my arms or my abdomen or my legs or my neck um so i probably just dozed off here and there and kept waking up um i ended up getting up after 10 and had breakfast um and then did the normal you know brush your teeth wash your face which takes ages now um and now I want to go for a walk because the the weather is really nice. Last night I didn't end up stitching. I wanted to play game and we ended up playing game for maybe two hours. It was good. So yeah, we're about to get some sunlight. Yay. Woo! Hello, hello. Uh, it is 3.30 p.m. I've just been editing what I've got so far for the vlog. Um, putting them together because I didn't want to wait until the last minute to put away so many different clips and it would take ages. Um, I did end up getting a coffee with JP. Because it's kind of our ritual. We like to do it together. It's a little date. <laughs> um, walking to the cafe and back was very exhausting. Um, afterwards, I actually wanted to take a nap. But I decided not to. Because I feel like the fact that I couldn't sleep very well was partially because I slept too much during the day. And I wanted to push myself a bit so I get more tired at night so that I could sleep better um so far I've put together everything I got up till now the 7th of March um yeah so this is how we edit we actually use Adobe Pro um if if you want to Sorry, Adobe Premiere, Premiere Pro. If if you get it by yourself, it's pretty expensive. I think it's like a monthly subscription. But luckily, JP's work actually uses um, the associated app, so we could get this one for free, pretty much. And it's pretty good for editing. Um. I have a feeling today I could probably stitch a bit uh, and in the previous clips you saw I took out the wedding sampler by Teresa Wensler but I realized that one needs too much brain power I don't think it's a good idea to stitch it when I'm still so weak and tired so I think I am going to stitch a good tyke by long dog sampler um, when I took it out, I had a little cry, because, yeah, it reminds me of Amy still, but, you know, I, I gotta work on it for my sake and for her sake. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy with what I got so far. I mean, it's my first time vlog, well, first time vlogging, and for a few days... I've got about 30 minutes of content, which was okay. I haven't decided whether I want to release them in two separate chunks or in one video yet. Yeah, um, it's been fun though, but sometimes I don't remember to do a check-in. Yeah. Maybe I will do a little clip again when I get to stitch later tonight. Hello. 
Um, right now it's almost 11.30. Unfortunately, I didn't really stitch. I stitched like two stitches. What happened was uh, I was really blocked up. As in I had constipation from everything. And that turned into a huge kerfuffle and became a two hour crisis and I'm still feeling pretty bad so I didn't end up stitching and I played some game but it was like an okay session so it's a bit of a shame um, and this clip will be the end of my first vlog video <laughs> so it is a very anti-climax sort of clip and I'm really gutted um, let's just hope tomorrow, the new clip, everything will be a bit more positive and I'll feel a bit better. But yeah, tomorrow I should be able to work on a good tag by Long Dog Samples. And yeah, this is what the fabric looks like. It's a hand dye fabric, 32 count. And I will, um, work on the flower until it touches the border and then I'll try this red border and hopefully it'll look good so yeah I'm so annoyed but unfortunately yeah that's it um yeah I hope you enjoy this kind of format let me know let me know your feedback and I'll see you in the next one tomorrow bye